Okay, so the first name is Itai. Yeah. Ben, I'm going to go with Sasson, but we're going to get confirmation. That's a name. Yeah. Itai Ben Sasson. Like that is a name. We want to make sure we get your name right, Itai, because we're going to have to say it a lot here. Not to be confused with Airtai. Wizard Adept. Aha, see? Itai Ben Sasson. Now, I could have some fun with that. 5-0 humans. Talk to me about it. Maybe a little Decky Tech. Here from Nick Miller, perhaps, as the Delver of Secrets will start things off. Off of a tropical island. Wasteland, I like it. Get yeah. Like, get Wasteland it. on the draw against a turn one. Delver considered to be a bold play in most circles. Well, either... E mm -hmm. Was it bold? We'll see. Noah Walker going to attack for three. Well, Noah Walker's never not had it. You got to follow it up. You just got to follow up with Wasteland number two now. Yeah. Noah Walker unfazed. He's been here before. King of the Delver is Noah Walker. And of course he's Delver Transformers on turn two. What are we even talking about? Right. Here we go. Ponder now. Yeah, if he didn't follow up with another threat card, you just got to waste him again. Yeah. How long can he do it for, you know? That's a good question. Get a good look at Noah's shoulder. He'll keep with the Ponder. We'll head back over to Itai. Let it rip. Yeah. You don't do it the first time without the intent of He's doing got it another the second. I see yeah, it. of course. I see it. Of course you. Yes. You can't not do it. It might be bad. But you, you, definitely, yeah. you definitely can not do it. Three. The, the die has been cast. After your opponent plays a ponder. Yeah, obviously another land. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 You got one more for me? Cavern of Souls naming human. This, there's no way. There's no way Noah doesn't have a counterspell for this. Noah's going to... There it is. Yeah. Flow to blue. Cast days. Might even brainstorm. Yeah, I mean, you got... It, when when Ben Sasson plays a cavern, you're not going to be able to counter anything else for the remainder of the game, especially alongside a vial. So that's your last chance to do anything. I will correct you, sir. Repeat after me. Sasson. Sasson. Yes. It's fun to say. Sasson. Sasson. Excuse me. Sasson's too easy. It's like Sasser. Boring. Sasson. Are you, are you, you're confident that's the pronunciation? They not, told us. Okay, you're not just no, they feeling. No, 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 they, they told us. You're not just feeling yourself yeah. right now? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> Itai Ben Sasson. Okay. My favorite name in SED Tour history, almost, almost certainly. Horizon Canopy, going to fall down to 10. Kite Sail Freebooter. Does not line up well against the Delver. All right, Trinity Nemesis, Tarmogoyf, Renin 6, Force of Will. Well. Force of Will's no good, and you can't take the creatures. So, there you go. Uh, you talk very easily win this thing. Well, depending on if he's got yeah. another land. Beatdowns. E ties down to 7. No land there for Walker. I mean, is there, does this deck play Reflector Mage? No. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that. Reflector Mage is actually pretty good. Beatdowns. Utah, you're in trouble. Well, you can at least block up a little bit here now with Mother of Runes plus Freebooter. Yep. Foul. Okay. Okay. That's getting through because of the because of the uh, cavern. But now we're at three. So for Itai, you're not feeling great about that. No, I mean, but uh, Walker didn't have a bolt or a red source of mana when you looked at his hand a couple turns ago. Mm -hmm. So even if he draws a volcanic, you might be in the clear. If you're Itai, you need another land here probably because this rising canopy is really starting to damage you. In the meantime, though, you can start giving some beatdowns here yeah. with Thalia. Very important to start attacking here. You need to cut some turns out of this game. Oh, boy. Down to two. I guess two is all the same. Okay. Lieutenant's up. All these humans are going to get a little bit larger. Beatdowns. In for three. Walker's going to fall down to 15. I think I would have liked to see an attack with Mother Runes there. Yeah, I'm into that. The bolt kills you, yep. so who cares about protecting the creature? Well, I guess the thought process is, well, no, it would just trade. No, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it trades off. No, you're then, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely, you, you definitely start, attack. Yeah, you're yeah. right. 
I'm with you. There's not a removal spell that Walker's going to play here that matters. Yep. Walker, Force of Will, Days in Hand. Just drew a land. It was Misty Rainforest. Dreadhorde, Arcanist. Tarmogoyf. Trune Nemesis. Just some of the cards in Walker's hand right now. Because either Walker takes it or he blocks, and then your Freebooter is freed up to start attacking the following turn. You can try to get a turn or two out of the game that way. There goes Misty. There's the Volcanic. Is it time to go towards the Lurgoyf and Tarmogoyf? Or is it something else entirely? All right, there's Tarmogoyf. We'll head back over to Itai. Tarmogoyf is a 4-5 right now. We got land, instant, artifact, Sorcery. No creatures in the bin just yet for each time. Itai not too sure what he wants to do right now. Thalia can't attack. Lieutenant can't either. There's Noble Hierarch. That'll put a counter there on the Lieutenant. And that will generate more mana down the road if it's able to live. Well, the big thing also is just getting uh, away from having to tap the horizon canopy. Mm -hmm. And can Walker just hold off long enough to get to land number three and just cast True Name Nemesis or find a lightning bolt? Quick check here. Orzhov Pontiff, is it in the deck for our humans player? It's a human, by the way. No. One. That's your out. For true name. And it beats death and taxes by itself, but that's a different conversation. Yeah, and two copies of Imperial Recruiter to go get it. Bang. Bang, bang. Beat downs. Like this attack. Well... Uh, uh, to me, so you have to put the free brood in front of the insect owl apparition. Mm -hmm. And I, I suppose my my first instinct on the block, without knowing the contents of Itai's hand, is free brooder in front of insect owl apparition, jump block, Tarmogoyf with Thalia's lieutenant, try to save the free brooder with your mother of runes. Well, there's the easy block. This is the, that block is forced. Well, this is I, I I feel like this is clearly protecting Mother of Runes then. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Because if your opponent drew land three to play Ren and Six, that means they can just play True Name. Yep. Right. Now I'm a little less. Well, I guess I, if I'm if I'm Itai. That's the reason I'm making this block, and then if my opponent has another Delver of Secrets, all right, and it transforms. Okay, good beats. Yeah, I like I like this block. Back to Itai. He'll draw. Tarmogoyce are five sixes. They're huge. Mother Rune's going to be working overtime here. So Itai gets one more tap for mana with that Horizon Canopy. Now your opponent is tapped out, so force of will, days, they don't work themselves into the equation. So whatever you want to do, you get to do. Just depends on what it is you want to do if you're Itai. There is one deputy of detention in the deck. Now that's not a human, but it is still castable. Noble Hierarch provides the blue, Horizon Canopy provides the white, and Cavern of Souls provides the colorless.
But I think Itai is going to be prompted to make a play here. Can't just wait forever. He does have a copy of Phantasmal Image in hand. Not a human, of course, but... Well, that's the issue with a lot of these lines of play. The best things that he can do are not covered by the cavern. Although with the Thalia on the battlefield, you don't have to worry about anything happening anyway. Mm -hmm. So the coast is totally clear here. So we could see image we could see image copying Thalia's lieutenant. Could also copy a Tarmogoyf. But whatever it is, he's got to finally make a play here. So he needs to come up with a plan or we start working ourselves into slow play territory. There is Lieutenant. Two counters there, put a counter there, and Noah's happy to help. Yeah, and uh, the, from, from Itai's side, what you'd like to do is just kind of muck up the works here since the Tarmogoyf can't attack, and then hopefully make a Lieutenant that's actually bigger than either of the Tarmogoyfs and start to get on the offense. The time is not on your side. You're, no. you're facing down uh, a lethal lightning bolt that come, come off the top at a moment's notice and uh, a third land enables a true nemesis you can't stop. And really the only thing preventing any of this from falling off is you top decking one of your wastelands. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get a move on here. If you can take care of that volcanic though, your position gets extremely good. Yeah, I like this play here from Noah, he can't attack. It's too bad for him to attack, so he's just going to play Dreadhard Arcanist. We're going to head back over to Itai. Now, Itai would be well served to try to get that thing off the battlefield. It's going to be tough, though. Well, I don't know. It's really just one look at a cantrip at this point. Well, that's, that's a lot. One cantrip that only costs one is quite a bit, I think. Uh-oh, he's going to take one. What do we got? There's the deputy. Okay. Gonna hit Tarmogoyce. And also, going down to one here is even worse news for Itai. Because now, if a cantrip finds a land... Well, no, that's gonna be harder. Because of, um... Because of the Thalia. Right. So he's got, he's got to fade a lot here. Well, he might be able to cobble together enough for a lethal attack next turn, even if Noah finds a land. That will that will do it, though. Well, if Noah if Noah finds a land, he's he tight's dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He just, just plays running six minus. It goes yeah. up. Yeah. But lightning bolt makes this uh, a moot point because that rolls off the top of Noah's deck. He's able to get the job done. As you mentioned, time was not on Itai's side. Noah flares his eyebrows a little bit, realizes he may have gotten a little bit lucky there, and he wins game number one here over Itai Ben Sassoon. Team or Delver up a game here over humans. Both these players are going to go to the sideboards. We're going to do the exact same thing. We'll start with our humans player, two surgical attraction, two sanctum prelate, two deputy detention to go along with the one in the main, and then a ton of one ofs here in reflector mage, palace jailer, Orzov pontiff, meddling mage, manic vandal, camball, council of allocation, imperial recruiter, containment priest, and fairy macabre. Well, um, I mean, there's a lot of one ofs here that are. Totally justifiable, maybe not better than the stuff that's in the main deck, the, the Campbell, um, the extra copy of Orzov Pontiff, the Reflector Mage, the Palace Jailer, all a little on the slow side, but, um, you know, certainly powerful in, in some of the spots. Additional copies of Deputy Detention as well. For Noah Walker, he loves a one-of. We'll get the two-of out of the way here in Surgical Extraction along with the 13 one-ofs. Force Negation, Jace the Mind Sculptor. A Braid, Ancient Grudge. Crop Rotation, Pyroblast, Red Elemental Blast, Hydroblast, Dismember, Magmatic Sinkle, and a one of fun of there in Vapor Snag. So, for sure, I want the Abrade, Dismember, Magmatic Sinkle, and the Vapor Snag. The rest of this feels like too narrow or too slow or too anti-spell to bring in. I don't feel like he needs to change a ton. Feels like the matchup's okay for him. I know that game got a little bit closer, and Itai is on the play here, so some things may change. But these players will finish up at the drawing board here. And while they work on all the goodies they're working on, let's talk about the StarCityGames.com newsletter first. Because it is your source for Magic the Gathering news, where we got highlights of some of our very best articles, upcoming SD tour, dates and locations, IQs and game nights near you. Best of all, it's totally free to sign up for it. Go to StarCityGames.com slash newsletter. And then we don't want you to forget about our YouTube page as well, where you can become one of over 170,000 subscribers at this point who are 
enjoying Versus Live, Commander Versus, the Flashback Series, the best of the SCG Tour. Corey Baumeister videos up there as well now. And a whole bunch more. Subscribe today at youtube.com slash star city games. Humans. Humans. Noah, look at Noah. He's, did he do the full shuffle in all the cards? Now he's got to take them out. I wouldn't do that. I, I've, do, I've done that once before. Big mistake. What happened? Just boarded out the war cards. Sure. What's your what's your worst sideboarding mistake? Um, I did win a PTQ once with Scald in my sideboard, and someone asked me why would you play Scald instead of Pyrostack Pillar, and I said because I f did not remember the Pyrostack Pillar was a card. Scald was way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Way worse. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> uh, I was playing in a GP in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Kamigawa block sealed. Well, for some reason, you may have been there. I don't know. My sealed deck was very bad. This is a this is a PTQ in Detroit or a Grand Prix? Grand Prix sealed. Oh, I the, the, I top eighted this one. Okay, cool. Then you were yeah, there. I yeah. was there. Uh, oh, there it is. So this is like Pyrostack Pillar, except it only does one, and it doesn't work most of the time. Nice. <laughs> really good. Really Anyhow. Good. I played a lot of that format, Kabuto Moth, Kitsune Blade Master, yeah. all of it. Loved it. It's all I did in college, like my freshman year. My sealed deck, I, when I get, it's horrible. It's absolutely atrocious. And so I'm boarding into another deck. My Ryusei is in the sideboard. Mm -hmm. Because I don't really have a great way to do it. But my opponent's deck is kind of weak to it. This is round three. I think I had two buys. Okay. Board in the Kadama's Reach. Board into a green-white deck, splash red. Mm -hmm. Play Kadama's Reach with Ryusei in my hand. No, no mountain. mountain in the deck. No mountain to get. Concede immediately. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try to play the game out. I'm so yeah. mad. This is when I was, like, hyper-intense about magic. And any mistake I made, I wanted to, like, punch myself in the face. I don't recommend that now to anyone. But, yeah, I just immediately concede opponents. Like, what's wrong? I'm like, I don't even want to. Just, I just leave. Can't even say it. It's too embarrassing. No games won that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> no games won. That's great. 03 sealed. Get out. I 01 dropped a Grand Prix that I flew to. This is Atlanta. <laughs> no games won. Whew. Got taught into playing Blue Red Delver. Absolutely unplayable deck. Oh, yeah, that's bad and always bad. Instead of just playing Burr or playing just a kind of a regular Delver style deck. Yeah. Lost to Affinity round one. Ah, off it. And just was off it. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Delver of Secrets here from Noah Walker. I also had my, my Is It Predict deck. I wish you would have had fun then. Contained, among other cards, Delver of Secrets. Yeah. Goblin Guide. Yeah. Because you know. Yeah, I get it. Thanks. Brainstorm Thanks, and Ponder. Thanks, bud. Submerge in the sideboard. That's nice. <laughs> Submerge predict is that's my kind of that's 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 time. Noah Walker going to sacrifice a flooded strand now. Go ahead. Put that one on top, and then I know. Hmm. And then I know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll name none of the relic Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ponder. Walker looking to set up his Delver to transform. Predict Goblin Guide is also really good because you get the look on their face when the top card, they're, they're momentarily disappointed when it's not a land, but the top card's good for them. Bang! <laughs> Two more. Walker going to shuffle it away. So a mystery card coming here for Noah. And I would be surprised if he attacks. Yeah, he's not going to. There's Noble Hierarch. Vile up to two. Itai will draw. Thinking about activating file right now. Be a great time for Athalia, I'll tell you what. But it basically always is in this matchup, that's for sure. 
We like to do something disruptive though because uh, as things currently stand, uh, Brandon Six would be some trouble. Yes. There is Thalia through the cavern and attack for once. Now it makes you wonder what's going to come through the vial. Ponder. The reveal. Delver is now in sectile aberration. We are in the draw step. Kite sail freebooter. All right. Bolts, plural, sinkhole. True name, Ponder, Ponder. Oh, he got him good with the Thalia. Completely locked out. Going to take the sinkhole. Oh, okay, that makes sense because that can kind of work. The Delve can kind of work around the Thalia. That makes some sense. A little risky, though. Ren and Six is going to cost three. Yeah, so second land would bolt a Thalia, and then you'd be online. All right, sure. That's a slow way to do sure. it, though. And if, if he has, you know, another copy of Thalia or what have you, then don't really care. Looks like maybe a three-mana spell is about to be played here. Caracas is the land. That is Sink. Oh, boy. That would explain the sinkhole, too. You sent yeah. this one to one. Yeah. And now it's uh, pretty locked up here. Be, sh be surprised if he didn't get this one. Uh, we're going to take a look at Sanctum Prelate here in just a moment because uh, that one might be locking out this game here for Noah Walker. Going to be some beatdowns here for Itai. Prelate's going to name one, which means that Noah's one mana spells cannot be played. Not even like they're just countered. They just can't be cast. So the human cleric causing some trouble as we head back over to Itai. There is a big difference in this matchup, and you probably notice this now, between the play and the draw. Yeah, very true of low-resource wasteland mirrors historically. Horizon Canopy will be sacrificed. Here's two mana. Looks like our judge has asked him to probably pick up his pace of play a little bit. There's a lieutenant. Oh, surprised. Surprised by the hard casting with the vial out there and then the cavern there too. I think that I well, okay, okay. That, that makes a little more sense. I was gonna say I thought that the reason to do it this way would be so you could leave the vial up at two and Caracas to cover Thalia. So there's just no way for Walker to worm his way out. Okay. This is fine too. I mean we're in uh in garbage time. We're pretty close <laughs> to garbage time now, yeah. <laughs> With all these humans on the battlefield. That noble hierarch should have a counter as well. So we'll place one on there because you can't miss one. So we'll make sure there's a counter on the Noble Hierarch. Now you see the Sanctum Prelate has one named, and Noah Walker is more than dead. So Itai Ben Sassoon is going to win game number two as humans and Team Delver are all tied up here in Syracuse. We've had a nice split of games of... One person, Noah being able to cast a spell in one game, not being able to cast a spell in the other. We are now split one and one. <laughs> and I imagine we'll be settling this up much in the same way as we've seen in the first two games in a moment. Well, we're going to talk about the StarCityGames.com weekly sale here in just a moment. And actually, pardon me, we'll talk about it right now. Hundreds of singles on sale through Monday including Restore Balance, Thawing Glaciers, Opalescence, and Liliana Vess. You can save big, not only on this sale, but future sales as well. So I recommend that you bookmark go.starcitygames.com slash sale because we update the sale every single Monday at 11 a.m. East Coast time. You've got until Monday until, you guessed it, 10.59 a.m. East Coast time to save on hundreds of singles. Now we go back to the match. Now we learn a little bit more about Noah Walker. The 23-year-old from Amherst, Massachusetts. Look at that fresh cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to let it grow out a little bit recently, apparently. 2018, he played uh, He played seven, top eight of three. No wins in 2018, but he's got plenty of wins 
all time with 12 open top eights and three W's. And apparently he peed his pants at a pre-release when he was 12 because he wasn't aware he could leave the match to use the bathroom. Tough. Respect putting that on the profile. Tough. A lot of respect. You I can, like the honesty. Just so you know, you can use the bathroom at events. Judge will give you an extension. Don't have to pee yourself. Correct. The more you know. <laughs> this is with the rainbow with the star. Yeah, comes yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Just go to the bathroom. That's right. Just raise your hand. It's cool. Take care of that. Game number three about to be underway. Should have a time shift to match to bring you guys. Do a preview card, answer some questions, and then we'll get Brian Gottlieb and Craig Kremples back in the booth. Walker's hand does not look great. It's, this is a hand just begging to be hit with Wasteland. And that's why he's just going to play the fetch. It's a cavern. It's a vile. A vile, one could argue the best card in this deck. Looks like Walker is going to sacrifice a polluted delta. Yeah, his hand concur very naturally into true ne into Renin Six into True Name Nemesis. Should he find one land off the top? I guess it has to be the right one. Can't be another volcanic. And otherwise, doesn't really do a whole lot. Here's Brainstorm. Now, there is the potential to get Brainstorm locked here as well. He found a Misty. And a Bolt. And a Delver. And so this solves that problem you mentioned. This lets you go sack Misty, get a Trop, play Red in six, get back my, my fetch land. And so or, or, I apologize for cutting you off, or there could be Ancient Grudge on Vile. Well, if he doesn't have a third land, then I would really want to play Renin Six right now because you don't want to get Wastelanded off of your hand. That's a good point. You can let him have the Vile for a turn or two. Well, there's Renin Six. really important just to have your mana. Plus, get back to Misty, and Noah Walker is rocking and rolling. Etai's going to put a counter on the Vile. It's up to one. And he'll draw and play his second turn of the game. I will say if Itai is reliant on this file to get the job done, this game could end very quickly. There's an ancient ziggurat. The problem here is, you know, some of his two drops that he'd like to play, like uh, like Thalia, for example, no good in the face of the planes. Well, well, if he loses the vile, is in a ton of trouble because the the only real way to work around the run and six is to play multiple cards in a turn, and without your vile, it's very challenging to do that. It's a champion of the parish. A card so that Walker is not terribly afraid of. Suspicious. <laughs> There's the crutch. That'll force the activation. Yes. Noble Hierarch put a counter there. The House of Cards is about to come crumbling down. There goes the Vile. Minus. Kill that. Sack. Get a Volcanic. Bolt that. Bang. Now... So much of Itai's deck is just Im implicitly locked out. Can't work around it without multiple spells in a turn. No Vile to help with that. It's just bad news all around. Tomic is going to come down. That's a 2-3. Dies Lightning Bolt all the same. Yep. This is Walker going to get back. Misty, sacrifice that. I think we might see True Name this turn. I think this one's all sewn up. And Noah's going to wash his hands of this situation. You know, we've got a lot of great players here on the SCG Tour. Some, I would say, better in some formats than others. I think Noah's very good in all of them. Absolute but, ringer but in his, Legacy. His bread and butter is Legacy, man. Absolute ringer. He's been doing it for a long time for someone as young as he is. Kept it sketchy. I shouldn't say sketchy. Kept Let's keep it. Risky. Yeah. Very risky hand, but it's broken the right way. And this is the part of the reason he kept the hot, the hand. The upside is so high. There's Norzov Pontiff. A very good answer to True Name Nemesis. It comes down. You can either give all of your creatures plus one, plus one, or all of your opponent's creatures minus one, minus one. And then it has the haunt mechanic, which we're not even going to get into. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh, 
just another thing for Noah to pick off. So even though that was good to answer the true name nemesis, I don't think it amounts to a whole lot. Tarmogoyf and Delver have shown up. Now Tarmogoyf's got to be a pretty large one. There's even an artifact in the graveyard with the uh, a vial getting hit by Ancient Grudge. There's a mother of runes. That's dead. Or is it? Now there's a Thalia. This is Lieutenant. Tarmo goes to 4 or 5. Lieutenant's going to resolve. Two two twos and a one one. Tarmogoy is still larger than all of them. We head back over to Walker. Checking with Delver. Ding a braid. And just more of the House of Cards crumbling at this point. It takes so much effort for Etai to get anything to be large enough to survive or run six activations. So much effort that any removal spell that Walker draws that can clean up uh, what. Itai is forced through. You know, there's he only gets so many shots at doing this. We'll head back over to Itai now. His wasteland is much too late to this game. You know, with Red and Six on the battlefield, doesn't matter much. Mobile Hierarch. Thalia. Sure. Vapors. Yeah, and again, this is, this yeah. is, it takes so much effort for him to do it that anytime Walker can respond to the larger threat, uh, it, it's a huge blowout. That's two turns in a row of it now. Ren and Six will go down, take care of Thalia. Now here's a one mana cantrip and ponder. This armor life is now 5-6. Walker will take a look at the top couple of cards of his deck. Reorganize. Happy to keep them. Beatdown's here. For eight. Another goif. And Itai will draw what looks to be his last card of this match. It's been a good start for him. This tournament is far from over at 5-0. and oh. But he's going to slide down to 5-1, and one, and Walker's going to move into pretty comfortable and familiar territory for him, moving on up to 6-0. and oh. Team Redelver, that addition of Ren and 6, it's a huge one for this deck. Yeah, I mean, once you can actually get it on the battlefield, you're not concerned anymore about getting locked out by Wasteland. And uh, that was a huge issue for Walker in the game that he lost. Yeah. On top of, in this matchup in particular, the...